Okay, and put the string in there too. What did you do to it? Amanda, what did you... All right, take it out. Let me fix it. Amanda, what are you... All right, put it back in there. And the string, all, the, all of it, the string, and the radio, and... All right, you're too electrical. Let uh, Tara try it. All right, take it out. Let's see if we can get this thing fixed. And we're... What? What? All right, it looks like we have two electrical people here. Tara, go ahead and put it in there again. Put your hand close in there. Don't touch it. Inside. See how close? She doesn't have, she's like three inches away from it. All right. Uh, Amanda. Take one of those four objects on the table. And do with, put it in, dip it into the, don't touch the radio, but dip it in slightly. Regular screwdriver. All right now, turn it over. Put the handle in first. So this Faraday cage is totally blocking the radio waves until we put an electrical humanoid, such as Amanda and Tara, with their hand back into recession after even me and anybody because your body conducts electricity and so does that screwdriver pick up something that you think might be an insulator no <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pick that one up i pick up the, uh, I was pick that one. The wire one, why wouldn't you pick up the, that that looks like it's metal no. <laughs> all right all right okay it's a conductor okay put that on the screwdriver side the other one looks Okay, try the plastic. Oh, I didn't even see the test. Yep. Okay, so the con so all right now try the pen uh, Amanda, you get to try the pencil. See what see what happens. Hold on, let me get this in close. What's graphite? Isn't it a metal base? No, it's not lead, it's graphite, but what's graphite? What's that another name for? Carbon. And carbon will conduct electricity. Okay, it's not the best, but it will. Uh, my wonderful students, this is the Faraday cage.